Sydney Thessel and Morris Flynn proudly present Haiku, Radio of the Air. Now, let's see how this sounds. Cool cats of Fitzroy Unite. A spectre is haunting Melbourne. The spectre of multinational franchise. Two things result from this fact. One, alternate fashion is acknowledged by big business to be itself a power. Two, the franchise seeks to monopolise all 50s gear. It is high time that all hip cats should protest against this reactionary adversary. To this end, all members of the cool school shall assemble in the black shat and affect pouting postures of rebellion to prove the inevitable victory of independent alternate style. Hmm, sounds pretty good. Well, that's the first copy. Only 4,999 to go. Oh, Jehuza, that's where's the O gone? Lauren, you're typing! Yeah, and me speed's increased to three words a minute. Hey, careful, your brain doesn't short circuit. That's a pretty fast rate of thinking for a little fellow like you. Oh, well, you may mock Sydney Thistle, but we mm. are on the eve of a momentous political battle. Huh? Blood will stain Brunswick Street. Ugh. I'm going to drag those faceless franchise businessmen with their disgusting Fletcher Jones suits into the glaring light of truth. Funny you should mention that, Maury. What do you think of mine? Your what? Fletcher Jones suit. <gasps> Sydney! You're wearing a suit! Hmm, he's fainted. I'll just bring him around by waving this under his nose. Hey, hey what's that strange scent? Dollars, actually. Fifty of them, and all in one bill. No wonder it's alien to you. What? Money? Here, give me that. No, you don't. But, Sid, how? Why? Where'd you get it? I've got a job. A job? <gasps> oh, he's found it again. And, Murray, there's money in it for you. Money for me? And fame. Fame. Yes, your face and peculiar mode of fashion will be paraded before millions of enraptured fans. Fans? Fans. Here, Sid, have a seat. Careful, Suck. you might dirty that lovely suit. Mm, good point. I'll just put my hanky down for you. Oh, no, 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 no uh, please. Do you want a nice cup of tea and a Tim Tam? No. No? Well, what's this all about? Well, my new job is in advertising, and at our pre-planning conference today, we started our biggest campaign ever, promoting a new fashion style. Of course, I put forward your name as the perfect person for the part. Oh, shucks, thanks, Sid. Think nothing of it. Now, off you go to bed and get your beauty sleep. Ooh. I've got to introduce you to the publicity meeting tomorrow, and then we'll begin shooting. He's got the shirt with the freeway feel. Freeway by Glow Weave. He's got the shirt with the freeway feel. Freeway by Glow Weave. In air-conditioned freeway terraline. Verified wash and wear with no ironing. In pace setting muted stripes. Get the freeway feel. Where's that Sydney Thessel? I gave him this $50,000 a year job out of the goodness of my pocket, and the least he could do is be on time. Let's make a start, anyway. Itchy, yep. how's the shipment of genuine old remainder 50 stovepipe jeans coming on from the Taiwan manufacturer? They're a real good bus. We trialled them and they fall apart in three months. What? That long? I told you I wanted a maximum two-week obsolescence period on all our products. Bleach the jeans with battery acid. They're okay, bus. Now, Mercurial. Yes, Loxley? How's the product development for the Gidget-flavoured 60s hula hoops going? Well, I'm afraid to say, Loxley, they taste terrible. Good. <laughs> Yeah, yes, hello. Ah, John, how are you, old chap? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, wonderful. The Trade Practices Commission will firebomb all the shops in Brunswick Street as soon as the franchise comes into effect. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Orange juice and Wheaties at Two-Face Restaurant. See you there. Now, Mercurial, how's the ad for the new franchise chain of stores coming along? Well, Sydney's supposed to be bringing some completely tasteless creature for the before shots of today's meeting. Mm, I wonder who. Hiya, I'm Murray, and I'm here for stardom. Oh, yes, perfect. It's wonderful, <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Yeah, right on. It's wonderful. Like, uh, he's great. Morris, uh, sit. Now, go to the end of the room and read these words out. Right, I said. Hiya, cool cat fans. You want style? I got style! Itchy rolled a video. You okay, must have done better for exam Johnny O'Keefe! Yes, yes, there might be a bonus in this for you, Sydney. Here, catch! Ah, the 245T Bagon operation. Gee, thanks, boss. Right, and make sure you fumigate this office after Morris leaves. Yeah, yeah, well, point. that's the before shot taken care of. Now, 
Whom do you have in mind for the aftershot? You, Archie? Of course. Now, why didn't I think of that? The perfect choice. Now, Itchy, when does the boutique open? Uh, tomorrow morning, boss. Good. You've paid the bribe. When do we start selling, Mercurial? 3 p.m. and the ads will start running in the morning. Splendid, splendid. Let's adjourn to the vault and finish counting the money, shall we? Eh? Mm, Come brother. on, now. Yes, Come on. some money. A one, a two, a three, a four. Four new flavors that you'll adore that'll make you love your milk tray more. Taste four new flavors right away in Cadbury's Milk Tray. Oh, you're up early, Murray. Yeah, I'm waiting for me ad to come on the telly. Well, I'm running late for work, so quickly prepare my high-powered businessman's breakfast, would you? Right, oh, Sid. That's one special K. Black mm-hmm. coffee and lekker juice coming right up. Oh. And what would you like for dinner tonight, Sid? I wouldn't worry about dinner. I won't be coming back. I'm moving to my new flat in South Yarra after a quick game of squash with Loxley at the We're Incredibly Vital and Good Looking Health and Pickup yeah. Club. Well... I suppose now that I'm a famous star, thanks to you, Sid, right. I'll be moving to Rosh Cutters Bay. But till then, I could always get some of my fans to move in. Well, I wouldn't rush out and put up any notices, Murray. Why? Uh, oh, your ad's just come on. Bye now. Look, don't bother visiting. Oh, whoopee zooks. Me ad. I'll just turn up the volume. Hiya, fans. You want style? I got style. Do you want to look like this? God, no! This man is about as cool as a barbecue at Tennant Creek. But why? Because when he was a little boy, his mother dropped him on his head and obliterated the fashion section of his frontal lobe. How oh, terrible! Yes, and did you know that 9 out of 10 doctors claim that most people have suffered some damage to the fashion section of the brain? Oh, oh no! What, what will we do? Have no fear, because... This man can help you. My, he's wonderful. Yes, it's the sartorial and transiting Loxley who has enlarged and perfect fashion frontal lobe. We We want to be like him. And you can, because Loxley is willing to share his unique fashion intelligence with you. My, that's grand. Come along to my new fashion mecca, Boutique Boutique, the shop that has exclusive rights to all 50s wear and accessories. Fashion mecca opens today at 27A Little Gertrude Street, Fitzroy. But, but, that's... That's my house. Right, that's taking care of the slum. Itchy, swing the crane over and drop the prefab boutique on the rubble. Uh, okay, Buster, I did. But, but, but look, Lee Murray's still in there. Good, okay, Itchy, get ready to drop it. But, but why? Because we don't have to pay him now, do we? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cecil and Morris Flynn were played by Peter Pentland and Derek Holmes. Loxley was played by Gary McConville. Itchy Brother was played by Julian Light. Mercurial I'm a Resigold with ABC Credibility, Stupor was played by Therese Merkett. The show was written by Peter Pentland and Derek Holmes and produced by Brett McLeod and Julian Light in the studios of 3 R FM, Melbourne.